boys welcome back we're here today top of the content news we're going to talk about the big lizzo situation if you who lizzo is she's not just a big personality she's also larger in size which is good um pictures of lizzo here this is not fat shaming in any way this is just a good way to portray why she's known as a body positivity icon uh, lizzo is lizzo 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 i think is how you say it um is well known to be super uh supportive people who are larger which is awesome in this current era we live in where a lot of american singers a lot of people in uh, American industries and modeling and ma mainly the world, too, are thinner. They tend to be skinnier. It's good to have representation. The representation is important. We need to have representation in a lot of things. I, for example, um, am very inspired by people. I have ADHD growing up, but not a lot of people were public about ADHD and stuff like that. So knowing that and people were able to accomplish things, I was able to become like the scrutiny when I was younger and be like, yeah, I can do cool things. And this year, actually, cool news, I'm going to graduate with a 3.5 GPA in marketing. Awesome. I barely passed high school. I thought I was going to fail out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you can cool, do cool things. Now, why representation is important for Liz's situation is she's helped a lot of girls, some of you larger, people a little bit thicker, feel like they can do stuff with their lives and, and they can, you know, accomplish things and singing and not be worried about the way that they look when they go out in public. Um, it's important because, you know, it's easy for someone skinny to talk about like, oh, it's hard being fat or whatever. It's like, okay, you wouldn't know. Or it's someone rich see every TikTok about it, like, oh, yeah, it's so bad being poor. It's like, bro, you don't know. Like, <laughs> you don't know. It's good to have representation of, of groups that might not always get that out in public. But we can see some examples of it. She's talking about how she wants to redefine body positivity. We're like, yeah, woo, Lizzo, how could this go bad? This is awesome. She's, she's doing these great things. She's talking about being in Vogue. It, it's awesome. We're happy to see it. Lizzo is pushing this agenda. We're happy. She's got a lot of examples of her doing things that empower women. We're like, yes, love your body. It's happy. How did this go bad? Well, yesterday, this just dropped that she got sued or is getting sued for allegations of sexual harassment and a hostile workplace. Now, what do you mean by hostile workplace? A quick Google search will tell you. Scroll all the way down. Why are she getting, why is she getting sued by her dancers? They're claiming there was a hostile work environment and harassment with the members of the award Grammy team. What could she be harassing them about? And we're seeing here sexual, racial, and religious harassment and false imprisonment. The opposite of, I wouldn't say that's body positivity. Those are all things that go against body positivity. You know, it, it's, it's mentioned in here too that she, she was very discriminatory to her weight, religion, skin type. It is a lot, right? And, and anxiety, depression, she was a representation for a lot of things. We were happy about it. We were like, oh yeah, she's doing a lot of cool things. She's representing people who might need it. We were happy about Lizzo. This is just soul-crushing news to hear, to be honest. Soul-crushing. Um, usually, I mean, I don't know about all courts. I mean, there, there's two sides of it. You can look at it. Well, she has money, so she might silence it. So people might sue for things that may not be fully true. But I do think these dancers probably came together, probably visited a lawyer, and realized they had a lot of evidence of this to come together to sue her. Um, and... I mean, Liz's PR team's probably working overtime to figure out a way to turn this around, but this isn't good. This isn't good to be a icon in, in representing body positivity um, and, and not actually be, you know, reciprocating that energy to the people that you are closest to. That's really bad. Um, even in Beyonce skipping over her name in the new uh, concert that happened on Tuesday, being sued by three dancers for harassment in a hostile work environment, as we mentioned. Um, and this is bad. This is, this is really bad. Um, you know, the media is eating it up. It is all over. Um, it's, it's really bad. There, there's just allegations after allegation coming out. Uh, we'll see where it goes. We'll follow it. But right now there is the motion for her to be sued, which is a heartbreaker. If this stuff is true, this is a heartbreaker. Truly. Um, it's important to have representation, but it sucks that that one person that might be represented is not actually a good person. It's going to really hurt for future stuff. And now people might have a bit of a, you know, you test toward that kind of thing. This is this sucks. The situation just really sucks. Um, lastly, in other fun news, uh, this is unrelevant to the uh, the Lizzo situation, but funny news too. Um, mods in gaming have gotten too large. If you want to talk about this more about this soon, let me know. I want to talk more gaming stuff. A guy made a mod of Chun Li, but she's just raw naked, um, which is crazy. This was a tournament on Twitch. As a Street Fighter player myself, that is insane. Okay, that's all. Goodbye.